as I promised you, I'd finally get to this tile project. It's going to be quite the effort. I have to rip all these tiles up and then put the sand down that arrived the other day in those fancy bags. Hi, my name is Randy and I'm an amateur. As an amateur, I make a lot of mistakes, but with your help, I may just get this garden finished. All this happened was I uh, decided to do a small area. So I went to Home Depot and I saw the cement tiles that we all know about. But then I spotted these nice rubber tiles and I brought a couple home and I put them out and I really liked them. And the end result was this <laughs> and uh, I couldn't stop myself. So now I have to get to the final part of this, which is to lift them all back up again, put some more sand down and level it off because I don't really like the way it is. And I'm gonna add the final few tiles on the sides and it's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna start that now. You don't have to wait because I'm gonna speed it up. I should mention here that the reason I looked at the rubber tiles to begin with was I remember some years ago walking around with my daughter in a playground and noticed that it was paved with rubber. I thought that was a pretty good idea back then and now there's an even better idea in my little backyard. Under the tiles, I already put the sand down the local gravel and sand company said would be right for my use. It didn't compress, they said, so I wouldn't let the tile sink, but unfortunately I didn't quite get the ground level and it became more uneven over time. So here I am pulling up the tiles and putting them to the side so I can add more sand. The tiles came up easy enough, but as you can see, it's a lot of walking back and forth, bending down and picking up. I don't know about you, but as much as I enjoy being outside and working on a project, it doesn't mean I don't get tired. I think we better stop there. I'm worried my family might want to use some of this area and I might not finish in time for them to do that. So I'm going to finish this area first, add some sand and then put the old tiles back and then I'll continue on with the rest of the project. I guess I better start shoveling. Day, so it's a little warmer, I'm gonna take my jacket off. That's the only problem with those patchy cloudy days, either you are too cool or too warm. I have a feeling that all of the shoveling I'm about to do, the need for a jacket won't be needed. Emptying the bags was a little tricky at first, but as I worked at getting the sand out, it seemed to get easier. It took a little time, but I did manage to get the first section filled. All I needed to do was spread it out, then I will level it off. I have to admit, I got excited as the first bag Let's got near. Oh, it's working! I know, strange how small things in life can be so exciting. A little more shoveling and some persuasion finally pays off and the bag gets a ride in the wheelbarrow. The end of the first bag. This is awesome. It really is. So much. Say. Hard work though. Now to spread the sand out and get it ready to level off. A rake is good for this purpose. You just have to push and pull it around and then it's ready to level off. I use a long 2x4 and a level to get it ready to lay the pile. It's very satisfying to make the surface smooth. And I have to be very careful here. I am not using the best technology, my eyes and my brain, but I think it is close enough to get the surface better than it was before this. Putting the tiles down is very quick. Unlike the heavy cement pad, the rubber tiles are light and you can flop them down and move them in place. And if you don't like how you did it, just lift them back up and spin them around until you like them. I was finished for today and on day two, I will continue on. I just hope that I've got it better than before. Well, it seems I made another mistake. I checked the level on here from yesterday and it seems that I didn't put enough sand down to, uh, to make this level. So I'm gonna have to rip up the tiles one more time and I'm gonna have to put new sand in and uh, that's what's gonna happen. I guess I'm gonna have to work a little harder. Okay, off we go. A little more time making it right, I think is well worth it. It only took me a few minutes to take up the tiles again. Then, getting sand out of the bags and a few wheelbarrows full later, I am able to smooth down the sand. I just decided I may as well just continue on and put them all down. 
Well, that was fun. I just love it when a project comes together and is completed. It feels so good. Uh, I just love the way these tiles bounce. It's so friendly to kids and pets. And I can hardly wait to get furniture out here so I can just sit out here and lounge around. I haven't decided what to do with the, uh, this area between us, whether it's gonna be furniture or garden boxes. I have to add sand here, yet. you can see that, and that's gonna come well your way. Um, but I have decided what I'm gonna put here instead of the rubber tiles, I'm gonna put cement slab. I just feel it's gonna be more solid to work on with the garden boxes, and maybe a, like a fire pit or something like you could sit on it. It's gonna be very good. It was such a beautiful day today. We we're so lucky. I'm gonna let you know by the time you see me next time, I'll have spread the rest of the sand out for the next phase of the project. That's it for now. I wanna thank you for joining me on my little backyard. Until next time, good gardening and good health.